Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel where we discuss all things about saving money and making every penny count. So today we're going to dive into a game changer for our grocery shopping and for our family budget. And for some reason, this really scares people or it just people tend to want to make this more complicated than it is. And it is meal planning. So let's dive in. Now, one of the things that I always hear is that meal planning is just an extra step in your already busy week. But did you know that meal planning can really be the secret weapon for keeping your grocery bill in check? Exactly. So not only does it prevent impulse buys, but it also ensures you buy precisely what you need and reduces your food waste and saves money. Just like when we're budgeting and we assign every dollar basically a name, we give it a category. Well, with meal planning, every item that's in our shopping cart, it has a purpose and we know what it's going to be used for. That's going to help us so much. Now to get started, the first thing you should do is go check out your pantry, go check out your freezer and make a simple inventory. You don't have to have any fancy sheets. You can just use, you know, some notebook paper or a pad and paper. It's fine. I want you to write down everything that is already opened or that is older, that's been in there for a while. And we're going to make it our mission to use those items up. This is going to keep us from having items that expire on the shelf or go bad on us. We're going to try to use up those items. Now, this simple step can avoid so many unnecessary purchases and make your shopping trip smoother and more budget friendly because we're not starting from scratch having to buy everything that we need. We're going to start with what we have and we're going to build some meals incorporating that. Okay. And make sure to do it in your freezer too. Now, what we, once we've got that part situated, then we're going to move on to our sales flyer, either go online to see the digital version or just stop by and grab a paper copy. And then we are going to fill in our meal plan with items that are already on sale. Check out my video on sales cycles so you can get a better idea of how these work. But by doing this, we can make sure that we are not buying items with their, when they're at their highest price. If we typically eat a lot of chicken breasts and they're $5.99 a pound this week, that's not a good idea. So we stock up on them when they're at a low price. And then on a week that we want chicken, we've already got it in our freezer. So by doing this, we're going to make sure that we're getting the most out of every dollar that we spend at the grocery store. But it's all about striking a balance between variety and cost effectiveness. Nobody wants to eat the same meal every week, every week till the end of time. So this is why I say planning is crucial, but flexibility is key. OK, and nobody wants to eat the same things over and over again. So first, I want you to look at your family's favorite dishes. Does it have to include that exact style of meat? Like, for instance, you typically make it with ground beef. How about making it with ground turkey or with sausage or brats? There's so many different options and you can make the same dish just with different ingredients. You, that's one of the reasons I'm not a big fan of recipes because people believe that the recipe has to be followed to it exact. And really you should go by formulas so that way you can switch in and out whatever ingredients you have on hand. So another thing is we want to make sure that we have in our grocery budget a stock up fund. So whether it be 20% or 50%, we want to have money in the budget to stock up, not just for this week, but for the upcoming weeks. Now, the great thing about writing down what meals you're going to have this week is it makes making your grocery list so much easier. Now, like I said, you don't need special sheets, but I'll put a link down below if you want some help in there. But honestly, just get yourself like a $1.25 notebook at Dollar Tree. I like to be a little extra special when I break up my grocery list based on different sections in the store, but you can do it however you want. And I'm telling you, the more and more you practice meal planning and writing out a grocery list, the quicker and easier it becomes. But it does take practice. The first couple of times, it may take an hour or two, but then the next time it's going to take a little bit less and a little bit less. And before you know it, you could actually meal plan for an entire month and it takes like 20, 30 minutes. Now, here is the tips part, okay? 
meal planning is so much easier when you are not starting from scratch every month, okay? So we want to start getting into batch cooking and utilizing our freezer, okay? Personally, we like to buy the family packs of meat when they're on sale because they're so much cheaper. But I don't need five pounds of chicken breast or chicken wings for one meal. So as soon as I get home, I'm going to separate out that large family pack into smaller portions that we're going to be able to pull for one meal or for one week. Okay, so that's going to take a little bit of time, but it's going to save you so much time later on. Now, another thing is to incorporate leftover meals. You can do this in two ways. You can do like a smorgasbord where like every Friday you take out all the leftovers for the week and you just use those up. Or you can do it to where you know you're going to have, you're going to cook chicken one night. So you cook twice as much chicken. So half of it can be used for another meal. That's going to, that's called batch cooking. And it's going to save you time on that second night. And it's really not going to cost you any more time on the first night. Now, another thing is do not forget to go ahead and plan for those last minute, super busy nights where you don't really have time or energy to cook, okay? I am not perfect by any means, and I like to stock up on a few items that I know that my kids and my husband love. They're usually like the dinosaur chicken nuggets that are super easy to make, you know, maybe corn dogs if they were on sale, or of course, a frozen pizza. Okay, I have those in my freezer ready to go at any time where I can just add vegetables and fruit to them and then they still get a decent meal, but it didn't take hardly any time. Now, that's not necessarily the norm for my meals, but it is super awesome to have those in a pitch. So hopefully you enjoyed today's journey through meal planning and you found some useful tips. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to go ahead and comment and share your experiences with meal planning. Is there certain parts that make it more difficult? What are you struggling with? And then don't forget to subscribe because we're going to keep giving some money saving insights. And remember, shopping smarter leads to smarter savings. Until next time. Bye.